Star 80 is a 1983 film about Playboy model Dorothy Stratton, written and directed by Bob Fosse, who adopted the story from a 1981 Village Voice article entitled Death of a Playmate by Teresa Carpenter. Eric Roberts, Mario Hemingway, and Cliff Robinson round out the cast. A pimp inventor and nightclub promoter named Paul Snyder discovers 19-year-old Dorothy Stratton working at Dairy Queen and sees her potential as a model. They do an impromptu photo shoot that results in her being invited to Los Angeles to meet Playboy publisher Hugh Hefner that opens the door to more opportunities. Feeling left out, Snyder uses her emotional weaknesses as leverage to get money and material items out of her, including a red Corvette on which he puts the vanity plates, Star 80. A series of flashbacks throughout the film show Snyder naked and covered with blood. Everything about Star 80 is perfect. The music is by Ralph Burns, who also worked with Fozzie on his 1979 film, All That Jazz. The film's terrific cinematography was done by Sven Wilhelm Nikvis, who was a longtime collaborator with Igmar Bergman. Everything about the period that the film is based on, the music, the cause, the clothes, the swagger, is perfect. Eric Roberts' performance as Paul Snyder, the overachiever who is desperate for respect and recognition, is terrific, although he didn't receive an Oscar nomination for this performance. Mario Hemingway's performance as Dorothy Stratton, the girl next door torn between her obligation to a bloodsucker and her promising career as a Playboy model, is also perfect. Cliff Robertson is also convincing as Hugh Hefner who pressures Dorothy to dump Snyder. This may or may not have been the tipping point for Snyder, although Hugh Hefner sued the film's producer in objection to how the film depicted him. Bob Fosse was originally a dance choreographer. He directed five films, including Cabaret, which won eight Academy Awards and also beat out The Godfather that year. Star 80 was his final film. When I think of how multi-talented Fosse was, I also think of Motown producer and founder Barry Gordy, who also went on to become an accomplished film director with no prior experience. Anyway, if you haven't seen Star 80 and you like Fosse's All That Jazz, it's a solid buy and you should pick it up. Thanks for watching this video review of Bob Fosse's 1983 film Star 80. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos such as this one. Thank you.